While some are enjoying the fall, winter not that far off now. We're already seeing the cold temperatures, mm -hmm. and local lawn care experts say that means now is the right time, perfect time, for you to continue the upkeep. News 10 ABC's Anthony Krolikowski has more on what homeowners may want to look into before the big snowfall. Fall is in full swing with these colder temperatures, along with leaves and flowers starting to fall to the ground. And that means that there is less time to winterize your yards. We found out that more goes into it than just raking everything away. From Shroon Lake to Albany County, Grasshopper Gardens has been servicing lawns for 30 years through all four seasons. And this is the time of year to winterize grass. It happens in three parts, raking the leaves, fertilizer, and one last mow. And that also helps prevent uh, funguses and uh, snow molds that can happen through the wintertime. CEO John Delisle says shrubs and flower beds involve similar care with a proactive approach that extends yard life and beauty. So we like to prune them down now before the wintertime which will help springtime. They'll shoot off new fresh growth and they'll flower really nice for you. And don't forget about your trees, as you may want to consider the condition they're in. Trail based tree service looks to ax those rotting that look healthy at first glance. It's near impossible to know exactly what's going on inside a tree without doing some kind of bore density testing on it or sounding it with a certain type of equipment. Jeremy Sporbach says checking with your local arborist can prevent major tree related disasters, especially when we get those heavy winter storms. Whether there's a tree close to somebody's house or their business or even stuff near the power lines that may cause a risk for the utility, we have been able to handle those tasks. Taking advantage of these services should help get your yard in tip top shape come spring. And more information on these services can be found on our website, news10.com. Reporting in the Capital Region, Anthony Krolikowski, News 10 ABC.